So if you've been on the internet today at all, or the last few weeks, you've noticed that there's been, see there's Sweet Baby Inc. Or the terms Gamergate, which is 10 years ago, which the same people from the original Gamergate were involved in this. So, Esteem, creator of Sweet Baby Inc. Games, and Twitter people, employees got mad and decided to try to harass the guy and get his account banned. But also, funny thing is, if you know any Gamergate original story, you know that someone died for that. So they decided to make named Hill Biscuit. So they decided to make Akira Toyami the creator of Dragon Ball and basically Tolkien of anime and manga. They decided to make him make fun of him when he died. So that not only do you have gamers mad, now you have the anime fans mad and some of those go together. So now you have gamers, anime fans, and them together. And you don't Having the people mad is a bad idea. Like, did they not learn from the original? And now you have them want looking this up on the internet is not because you'll find you'll find them saying it's a harassment campaign, which it was not. But you have now you have Weebib Inc. trying to hide things, and, and when you look into it. It goes back all the way to the original Gamergate from 2014. So you have Food Baby Inc. is involved in all this stuff that goes back 10 years ago. And also they're the reason of some of these games have failed. Like Spider-Man 2, which it's Spider-Man, so it wasn't going to fail anyway. But it has some cr crappy stuff in there. Suicide Squad, who killed um, Kevin Conroy's Batman. And this game has fallen off so badly that Arkham Knight has more viewer players than this game, which is nine years old. So you have a game that's nine years old is beating the game that has been out for only a month. Yeah. So you have that happening. You have... So if you've been on the internet, you've noticed that going on. So people were like, it's Gamer Game 2, which I think it is, because it has the original people. And now you have people that normally wouldn't know, talk about this are now talking about it like um, people that just don't pay attention to gaming are talking about it. So this is, and now you have the same tactics that happen again. Journalists get caught. People that actually don't care about game gaming are involved. And then you have the gaming journalists running background and saying it's a harassment campaign. When they were the original harassers. They harassed the guy, tried to get his account banned and his the creator list banned and claiming victim. So they harassed him, then getting pushed back, and then claiming victim. And they asked their gaming journalist people to run hit pieces on him. Which is the same tactics. But unlike last time, you have the pressure. Um, no one trusts the gaming journalists anymore. And this is a different Twitter as well. So you have different Twitter. No one trusts gaming anymore. The gaming journalists, which they're not gaming journalists. They're... So they are... Journalists that don't actually care about games. They, they never did. They pretended to care. When you're focused on something that's not about the game and about identity, you don't actually care. Some people call it tourists. I call them, willing to call them gas station journal, gas station gamers. They drive up, get their little fix, or get their stuff they need, then leave. But I guess tourists because they stay a little longer, but realistically, they try to. F what they do is they enter the gaming space, 
tweak it a little bit or and then leave and then usually it crashes and burns which is not a gas station but you know you see the point they come they enter they fix it then they leave i guess tours make sense since they're they're a little longer but you get the point they don't actually care they don't care about these games they pretend to care but they hate they hate gamers they've proven this Kotaku, the most infamous site that hates games, was the first to run hit, hates Kotaku, then PC Gamer, then Eurogamer, then all these other sites. Then you go back 10 years ago, where same thing, same sites. I'm just waiting for the Gamers Are Dead article. Then, I mean, people are like, it's not... I mean, they've officially... Confirmed it's Gamergate by saying it's Gamergate 2. And already these articles on it. And it's... Tw and it's... If you're... And the funny thing is... It's the same thing from 10 years ago. Because a lot... If you're US, you know... They blamed Gamergate on... Who got... Voted in, which... Come on. Gamers are not that powerful. To influence a voting system it's like we are the biggest market in the world we gamers are the, have the and games are the biggest market but i don't think we're that powerful to influence an election or from any country so but if we baby ink it's gonna get so much worse and i think they're gonna die like, it just shows Gamergate never ended. I mean, you could say it did, but they just hid in the shadows this entire time, changed their name and identity and all this, and came back again. So, Tweetbait Inc. is not the f only list, and it's not the last either. So, they're either going to change their name, or they're going to go to another company and do the same thing all over again. So, we need to get these people out of our space and so people are like oh you shouldn't gatekeep well gatekeeping sometimes helps when you have people that don't actually care about your your hobby or come in and try to change it you need to gatekeep them from changing it because usually most of the time when they change it it turns out for the worst so these people don't actually care about games so like, i know gatekeeping seems harsh but it's like if you don't, the people, they're going to ruin your game or the thing you love. Do you want your the thing you love to be ruined by people who don't actually care? Same thing with Disney. Same thing with all these other companies. So, yeah. Maybe one more, th one more thing. Got to Oh, right. I'm trying to think for a second. I just forgot. Dang it. Um... others oh, they made a list of all these other companies that are also doing the same thing and actually it's their own fault if they didn't talk about this no one would have it wouldn't have been as big as they did so essentially by fear of not not wanting gamergate to another gamergate if it ever ended by fear of not wanting one, they created another one by making this a big deal. If they just... And also, it's like... It's on your site. If Aren't you proud of the stuff you created? But no, they know it's... They know it was wrong. So... And it wouldn't have been a big deal if they didn't make it a big deal. So essentially... If we have ink... You caused this. So now you have to deal with it. So don't dish what you can't take. So that's all for me.